Now to an update on a story that impacted so many of our viewers. A severely starved dog found at a Fort Wayne animal or found by rather a Fort Wayne animal care and control officer survived the extended holiday weekend, but is not out of danger just yet. As Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose explains in her continuing coverage, while the community has stepped up to help that dog, leaders at the shelter say they also need different help to investigate the dog's case. And we do want to warn you again, the video in this, this story is disturbing. He's still not out of the woods, and we're just kind of taking it day by day with him. A passerby spotted this severely malnourished 10-month-to-year-old Beagle or Brittany mix near the old Target on South Anthony late last week. When an animal care and control officer picked it up, it was barely alive and certainly couldn't walk, meaning someone had dumped him there. Over the holiday weekend, the shelter's medical team did regular blood work, checked his fluids, and fed him small amounts of a special diet. It's a good sign that he wants to eat. Um, he still cannot stand at this time. He cannot regulate his body temperature on his own. So we still have some pretty large obstacles in the next several weeks in his recovery. Rose says people have been so moved by the dog's story that they've opened their wallets and their hearts to try to help him. I love the community support. It is just amazing. We've raised over $7,600 for his care, so that's fantastic. But right now, adoptions is pretty much the furthest thing from our mind at this time. As the team tries to coax the dog back to health, the investigation into who starved the dog needs a jump start. We know that our investigations take time and effort, and we're willing to put in the effort for this dog. Investigators are still looking for leads in the case and ask you to think if you might have seen this dog as a puppy in someone's home and then didn't after a while. We've definitely had cases where neighbors have seen dogs and didn't realize they still had them um, because they were in the basements in cages. Again, no taxpayer money is being spent on the dog's care. Donations to the shelter's Angel Fund are covering all his expenses. We will continue to monitor his progress and keep you updated. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC. It, that's a difficult story. If you know anything about the dog and can help with this, call Animal Care and Control. The number is on your screen, 427-1244, option one. And if you'd like to donate any time to the Shelter's Angel Fund, you can find that information on our website in just a bit. The dog has such a kind face, doesn't he? Yeah. The 4th of July